What a weekend. Happy end Game of Thrones to all who celebrate. What a time to be alive. Well, hi there, Internet. My name's Court, and welcome back to my Game of Thrones Season 8 review series. Here we're tackling the third episode, The Long Night. Now, I really liked this episode. I didn't love it. When it was good, it was amazing. When it was not, it may have been amazing. I don't know. I couldn't see what was happening. As always, this review will have mad spoilers, all spoilers all the time. You've been warned. Let's move on. Now, we were told that this episode would feature one of the biggest battles ever put on screen. And in that respect, yeah, it was pretty crazy. I feel like I got sucked into the hype maybe a little bit too much. And I did find myself a little bit disappointing when it wasn't literally the greatest thing I've never been able to see. And I don't want to belabor the point, but that really is my biggest criticism with this episode. It was so dark, I was getting frustrated. I get that they were going for a horror movie aesthetic, and in some scenes that worked to great effect, but there were other moments where it was like, I was sitting there going, man, whatever's happening right now sounds really cool. Wouldn't it be cool to see it? And I will also say, I love me some action, and there is some damn good action in this episode, but I did find myself getting a little bit battle fatigue at times. The showrunners did a good job of putting in some quiet little character moments to break it up a little bit. I could have used a couple more of those. I'm probably in the minority there, that's fine. Let's move on to some of the stuff that I liked quite a bit more. The opening moments of this episode are beautifully tense, and Melisandre showing up to light the weapons of the Dothraki on fire, oh my god, it gave me chills. And then watching them ride out into the darkness towards an enemy that they can't see, and then just seeing all the lights wink out in the blackness, that was a brilliant visual. And once the attack begins, yeah, it's an absolute slaughter. However, there were fewer major deaths than I was expecting in this episode. Like Dolorous Ed, he goes out rather unceremoniously. I've always really liked Ed, and I was surprised by how much I didn't feel anything when he died. I think a lot of that was just because it was so abrupt. And then you have Beric Dondarrion, who I've never been like a super huge fan of, but his death really got me. Then again, he went out very, very heroically. And did anyone notice he was in very much a Jesus Christ pose when he died? And we always knew that the little bear, Liana Mormont, whenever she goes out, if she were to go out, we knew she was gonna go out like a boss. And go out like a boss, she did, killing a giant. That was amazing. Yes, queen. Speaking of like a boss, Arya fighting with that weapon that Gendry gave her, awesome. And we get some hot dragon on dragon action. Really is some of the best dragon stuff I've ever seen on this show. Jon and Rhaegal and Danny on Drogon fighting the Night King on Viserion. It was great. And then of course the Night King falls off and Danny roasts him alive with dragon fire until we find out that he's impervious to it. <laughs> and then that shot of Jon sort of charging at the Night King as the Night King starts doing the whole like raising the dead. That really reminded me of that moment in the Battle of the Bastards where Jon like unsheathes Longclaw and you see all the horses riding towards him. It was a very similar kind of moment. Loved it. And then we cut to the Godwood where Theon is guarding Robot Bran. And Something that Theon has been needing for so long. Bran basically forgives him. He says, thank you, you've been a good man. And it was a beautiful moment. Alfie Allen played it really, really nicely. And then the Night King arrives and Theon's all like... For Frodo. And he's killed. I have to say, I did call it. I did say he was the most likely person to die in this episode. I'm sure a lot of other people called it too. So it doesn't really matter. But I did call it. Just say and then when the Night King's about to kill Bran in a deus ex Arya, Arya attacks the Night King. She jumps at him from behind. And I was like, oh shit. And then he catches her by the throat and I was like, oh shit. And then she drops the cat's paw dagger and I was like, oh shit. And then she catches it with her other hand and stabs him in the chest and he disintegrates and I was like, oh shit. I liked that moment, if you can't tell. Arya is clearly the MVP of this episode. Granted, my joy was cut short moments later when we see Sir Jorah die in the arms of Danny, That was brutal. And again, I called that he was gonna die in this episode, but that doesn't mean I was emotionally prepared for it. But then Drogon curling his body around Danny as she's crying over Jorah's dead body. That was a really touching moment. That was beautiful. Who's a good boy? And then the episode closes with this coda of Melisandre walking out onto the battlefield, removing her necklace, and true to her word, dying in this strange country, having served her purpose. And I love that it was Sir Davos who watches her die. That was very poetic. There was a lot of great stuff in The Long Night, some amazingly cool battle moments, but I can't help think that it would have been better if they had taken a little bit more care with the lighting. Maybe they were trying to mask some CGI that they couldn't quite get there with their budget. I don't know, but you can tell they put a lot of budget into this episode. Still, I really enjoyed The Long Night. We've only got three episodes left, and I don't know what I'm going to do with myself when it's all over. So those are my thoughts on 
Season eight, episode three, The Long Night. Now I wanna know, what did you guys think of this episode? What do you think's gonna happen in the next one? Whatever your thoughts, hit the comments below. Let's discuss. If you enjoyed this review, please smash that like button and give it a share if you really enjoyed it. And hey, why not take a second, do me a favor, click subscribe and ring that bell to subscribe to my channel for more movie reviews, entertainment news, trailer reactions, Game of Thrones, all that good stuff. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Valor Magulis. Thank you.